It's a presidential sales pitch. If you like your plan, keep your plan. Millions of Americans aren't buying anymore. I absolutely believed him, and I was completely comfortable until October 1st when I got the letter, you know, that my insurance is no longer available. Was that a broken promise, or was that deception, or both? Just in California, Florida, and New Jersey, we've counted up at least a million and a half Americans whose policies will be canceled on January 1. Consumers like construction worker Ryan Hunt are finding they cannot keep their plans. I'm furious. I'm like stomping mad. This thing seems to be a disaster. Uh, it's nothing like uh, the administration said it was going to be. The real story is how many millions of Americans are going to eventually get a letter from their insurance company saying you're no longer covered. You remember the if you like your insurance, you can keep your insurance? That changed today. More people since October 1st have gotten cancellation notices, Greta, than have been able to sign on. Over 2 million Americans have received cancellation of their insurance policies, the policies they chose. Cancellation letters uh, that customers are receiving say that their current plans don't meet the new federal requirements of this new law. It's a situation of they're getting cancellation notices because of the way that Obamacare is drafted. You're no longer eligible to buy your own plan, which was the number one promise that the president made to the American people. Just boldly telling people, if you want to keep your doctor or your plan, you can. That was just a lie, wasn't it? The Washington Post's Glenn Kessler gave him four Pinocchios for that. It makes it very clear that if the White House likes your insurance, you can keep it. But if you like it, you may not be able to. Democrats are increasingly frustrated and regretful that they left Americans with expectations that didn't pan out. People should be able to buy any insurance plan that they can afford and want. It's up to individuals to decide what's best for them, not the government. Most of those people will be paying a great deal more in monthly premiums and certainly deductibles. When more people are losing your plans than are able to enroll in new ones, it's more than just a website. Well, it's being reported that the president has known for three years that people would lose their coverage. The press is now saying the president lied. But today the White House said that's not true. He did not lie. And they released this tape from three years ago to prove it. Here's what he said three years ago. If you like your doctor, you cannot keep your doctor. If you like your private health insurance plan, you cannot keep your plan. One of the things that keeps coming up in this hearing because you are from Kansas is references to the Wizard of Oz. And people went to see the wizard because of the wonderful things that he did. And the Affordable Care Act is doing a lot of great things in Iowa. Really going to use the wizard to defend your program to say how great it is? Did you watch the movie? Um, the wizard is a charlatan. Is a two-bit huckster who never gave people anything they didn't already have. 